We begin with some good news for parents and thousands of school children. The teachers union has in the last hour called off their plans for a new strike. The announcement came shortly after officials of the union met President Uhuru Kenyatta at State House. Under the deal, the president will now take personal charge of the issue of teachers' pay. But as KTN's Najma Ismail reports, it is not yet clear if the government committed itself to paying the teachers' July salaries in full. With the school term coming to an end and the national exam only four months away, the standoff finally got the attention of the highest office in the land. The president met top NAT officials and the labor secretary, Kazungu Kambi, to find a way of averting another teacher's boycott. And... Mm. <laughs> Moments later, the teachers made the announcement that will be good news to thousands of parents and teachers across the country. Today we are happy lot as a leadership because for the whole day we have been putting our heads together and trying to find exit routes out of this problem. I would like to say uh, we want the teachers of this country to continue teaching with the commitment and the seal that they've had in the past. Don't ask us why did he intervene in the beginning? Everything has its own time. And the president is not like Muzon Zili who has all the time. Not stop organs were due to meet next week to endorse plans for a strike that was set to begin on Wednesday. But now the officials are urging teachers to roll up their sleeves and get down to work. We have created as a labor ministry the conducive environment for any negotiations. And I'm happy to say that the NAT, who are my brothers, have agreed that they will follow the law up to the latter. Early in the day, pressure had been mounting on the government to resolve the issue with the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights terming it a violation of children's rights. Article 53 of the Constitution guarantees every child the right to free and compulsory basic education and also provides that a child's best interests are of paramount importance in every matter concerning the child. Now many parents will be hoping that the battle over pay is over and that once again their children can go to school and get some real education. Najma Ismail, KTN Prime.